Uh, not, a, not a whole lot to, to say that, that hasn't been said. Um, I'm really honored, though, to uh, be able to represent the University of Texas uh, at the Sugar Bowl, one of the uh, most storied, uh, tradition-laden bowls in the, the history of college football. Uh, our guys have had a great week of practice. Uh, they, they're excited. We've had no issues off the field, which is certainly something you worry about in New Orleans. Uh, and, uh, you know, a, again, our guys, uh, you know, they, they understand that um, we, we can't just be satisfied to, to get here. We, we've got to do uh, what it takes and take the necessary steps uh, to prepare to go win a game, and we're excited to do that. Questions? Over on the right side in the front row. Bob Blue, CBS Austin. Uh, is Georgia the best team you've seen on tape this year, and why or why not? Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, you know, our rival to our north is pretty dang good, too. And, um, uh, you know, we, we had two great games against them, and uh, we respect the heck out of them. Uh, so, uh, but, but different. It's, it's hard to say best, you know, when you're, you're talking about anything. And uh, I, I would say certainly different. I think they, they pose some unique challenges with um, how big they are up front on, on both sides of the ball. Uh, which is something that is different for us. But um, uh, best is difficult. They're, they're certainly, uh, you know, as good as, as any team that we played in our two years here. Go over on my left to the center of the room. Yes, uh, Murray Poole, Bulldog Illustrated. Uh, Tom, how pleased have you been with your special teams this year? And what do you think they're going to have to do against a team like Georgia to, to play well and be a big factor in this game? Uh, I think we've been just okay. I, I think we've we've certainly improved uh, our field goal kicking and, and kickoffs, uh, which was good. Uh, you know, our return game is is just okay right now, uh, and our our punt team is you know kind of up and down. But I think to answer your question on what we need to do in that phase, uh, we, we've got to flip the field. You know, when we when we don't uh, score points on drives, we've got to make sure that. Uh, we're making that field as long as possible for their offense. Back over on this side, front row. Hey, Tom. Brian Davis, Austin American Statesman. Um, you know, the Texas Bowl last year was big for your program to break the cycle of losing and all that. And I wonder, in terms of the progression of Texas, is this game every bit as big now as that was then? Yeah, I, I think so. I think. Um, yeah, for to, to if you're measuring the trajectory of our program, the answer is yes. I mean, this is this is another very important step. Uh, winning it would would certainly be even bigger. Um, but <laughs> you know, you, you, Corby Meekins, he's coached college football for four years. He's been to two New Year's Six games in the Texas Bowl. We were talking about it the other day, and it was like he he's, he said, "Are all the bowls like this?" I said, "No, they're not all like this." Uh, this, this, these are some, some pretty special ones, and uh, so this is, this is a, another very important step for us, yes. Back over on the left side in the center. Hey, Tom. Nathan Brown, New Orleans Advocate. Um, with your two years head coaching at Houston and now your two years at Texas, what do you feel like you've learned in these past two years that maybe you didn't know when you started at Houston? Oh, my. How much time you got? Uh, uh, I mean, you, you're never, I think you're prepared when you get that first head coaching job, but you're never quite ready. I don't, I don't know if that makes any sense, but, um, you know, I, I had studied under some phenomenal head coaches and um, really respect the, the heck out of the, um, the mentorship that, that they had given me as an assistant. And, uh, but there's things that you just, that are impossible uh, to prepare for, you know? And so uh, I, I, I just think, you know, we, we, um, we went to the hospital uh, a couple days ago, and um, I think the, the most important thing is when we walked by, we saw a picture uh, of a physician and a quote, and he said, uh, don't ever forget uh, that you're treating people. You're not treating diseases, but people. 
And I sent it to our assistant coaches and wanted to remind them, don't ever forget, no matter what game we're playing in, no matter who the opponent is, no matter uh, what the circumstances are, we're, we're coaching people and young men. And uh, we're not coaching defenses, we're not coaching plays, we're not coaching blitzes, we're coaching people. And um, I think as, as long as you keep that uh, in the forefront of your mind, then you kind of learn as you go. Back over on this side on the rock. Right. Uh, Chip Brown with Horns247.com and AM1300, The Zone. Tom, um, the expectations obviously will go up with your team reaching the Big 12 title game and playing in a New Year's Six Bowl. Um, I guess your comfort level with that going into to 2019. And then any thoughts on Major Applewhite getting fired at Houston after, after just two seasons? Uh, I Thoughts of expectations, we, we don't worry about outside expectations. Um, we, we worry about the expectations uh, in our building and uh, nobody uh, is going to have higher expectations uh, for us and our program than uh, our staff and our players. So uh, not too concerned about that. And um, as far as uh, Mage is concerned, talk to Mage, you know, uh, disappointed for him, but um, he's a great coach. and. Uh, I know he'll land on his feet uh, very quickly. Back on the left side on the front row. Coach uh, Sonwar Richardson, Orange Bloods. Uh, kind of piggybacking off what Brian Diaz was talking about, Coach, you, you have a, a group of seniors that signed with Texas, but they didn't sign with you. When you see that you know, they didn't go to a bowl game for a couple of years, and now you're being able to see them on the stage, is that kind of rewarding for you? And can you just talk about your senior class? It's indescribable. Uh, how rewarding it is, and uh, what a great group. I mean, we've got five captains in that senior class, uh, a group that could have very easily um, gone a different direction. You know, they, they certainly could have, um, you know, um, been defiant uh, or disinterested when we got here, but uh, they bought in. Uh, they're, they're really important. And although, and I, I told them this yesterday, although they may not have the, the championships or the hardware to prove it, um, they will go down as uh, maybe the most influential senior class, at least uh, in, hopefully in my tenure, uh, for uh, having you know, gotten us through some, some rocky times and never wavering, um, staying committed. Uh, to, to the things that they believe in and the things that we believe in. And um, I can't thank them enough uh, or be more proud of them. Right side, front row. Hey, Tom, Roger Wallace, KXA in Austin. Uh, when you walk off FedEx Field, the confidence with, uh, for Sam had to, be, had to be wavering a little bit. What did you see in the growth mentally, physically, and, and his toughness from then to becoming uh, an elite quarterback this year? Uh, yeah, I mean, you said his, his confidence must have been wavering. I don't think it was. I, I think it's pretty hard to get that guy's confidence wavering. Um, I, I think uh, he understood, uh, you know, that we needed to play better. I, I, don't, I don't know. He needed to play better. I needed to coach better. Uh, we, we all needed to uh, relax and, and trust ourselves and, and trust uh, the development. And so... Um, yeah, we were, our confidence in him, I know, never wavered. So I, I hope, I, don't, I certainly don't want to speak for him, but um, I, I hope his didn't. Uh, and, and just his maturation has been phenomenal. I mean, you've watched the guy. If there's a more improved quarterback from freshman to sophomore year this season, um, I'd like to meet him. Uh, you know, Sam has, has completely elevated his game. He's a different guy, and I think that speaks a lot to continuity, too, you know, with this being the first time in five years, I believe, where Texas has had the same offensive system for back-to-back -back years. Uh, so he feels very, very comfortable uh, in the system. Uh, he makes checks uh, that, you know, sometimes we, we haven't even talked about through the week of preparation. He just understands the offense, and he sees defenses as good as I've coached, and um, I just, 
you know, and then his physical toughness is something that the, the players really, really rally around. Stay on this side in the center of the room. Uh, Danny Davis, Austin American Statesman. Tom, do you have any injury updates and how has Caden looked this week in practice? Uh, yeah, no. Uh, Moro is actually Moro Jomo's cleared. Uh, so if we need him, he can play. Uh, Caden's looked great. Uh, I, I don't think we'll have any issues with him. And uh, other than the ones you, you already know about, yeah, everybody's stayed healthy. And, and the, the ones that were a little dinged up have improved throughout the week. Back over on my left side. Tom, Josh Mixon from the Macon Telegraph. What's it say about the two programs that you and Kirby have where, you know, Kirby can go into Georgia as far as recruiting goes and pull one or two guys, but you can also go into, or Kirby goes into Texas and can pull one or two guys, but you can go into Georgia as well. Oh, I, I think, you know, that, that you're talking about two major national brands. You're talking about, um, you know, both schools with the ability because of the tradition, because of the history, uh, I think because of the academics, uh, because of the location uh, of both schools and the, the attractiveness of, of both um, cities, I think uh, allow us to, to go anywhere to, to recruit. Certainly I know, I, I would imagine, uh, having talked to Kirby a few times, certainly don't want to put words in his mouth, but. Um, he's going to try to keep the best players in the state of Georgia in the state, and we're going to do our best uh, in the state of Texas as well. But um, if we need to go out of state to recruit, I think both programs, um, from a historical standpoint, have um, allowed us to do that uh, because of the attractiveness. We'll shift back over on this side, front row. Coach John Hyde from Fox 7 in Austin. You talked about not being just satisfied to be here. Why do you think your guys will be able to compete with a team like Georgia when not a lot of people are giving you all much of a chance in this one? Uh, because, you know, for the first time in, in a long time, uh, I, I think we understand that, that our best is good enough, that if we play our best, we can play with and or beat um, any team in, in the country. And um, uh, now we're going to have to play our best. Uh, we're, we're certainly not good enough to show up <laughs> with our B game uh, and, and expect to beat a, a team like Georgia. Uh, we're going to need our A game. But I think our guys have proven to themselves that uh, if we prepare uh, the right way, we prepare the way that we know how to, um, and then we put that preparation uh, into action, and when the ball's kicked off, that um, we're going to have a chance to be uh, in just about any game. We have time for one final question over on the right in the back. Coach Dan Matthews, 680, the fan in Atlanta. Go back to the first question about if Georgia's one of the best. This running game, is it the best that you've seen this year? The what? The running game. Again, different. I mean, you know, when, when we played uh, Oklahoma in the – conference title game, they had gone, I think, six straight games of rushing for over 290 yards. Um, so we've got a lot of respect for, for what they do uh, in the run game, but just it's different. So uh, as good, certainly, uh, the, you know, the schemes are different. The, the tempo is different. Uh, the one thing uh, those two teams have in common um, are massive offensive linemen. <laughs> Uh, and really, really talented tailbacks, which usually equates to a pretty good run game. And um, we're going to need to play our best, I know, to, to, to even hope to slow it down. Uh, and, uh, but different, but as good as, as any that we've played in our two years here. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.